At this very moment, hospital doors are being assaulted by fast-moving gurneys, and cleaning crews are wedging a broom handle between the door and the frame to prop them open. Buying new doors can really put a dent in a facility manager's budget. Fortunately, steel doors can often be repaired rather than replaced. In this video, we'll provide a few guidelines to help you determine whether a door in your facility should be repaired or replaced. A properly set steel frame undergoing normal use will stand the test of time. However, there are certain circumstances you should look for in regards to the opening. When you have an older building and the frame is no longer plumb, level, and square, you're better off replacing the door and frame. If you were just to replace the door and keep the existing frame, you could leave yourself open to issues such as undue stress on hinges, improper clearances for fire-rated openings, and improperly fitting and operating hardware. Back to the hospital example. If a gurney or crash cart repeatedly slams into a steel door, it can damage the door enough to harm the core. No matter the cause, once the core is compromised, it jeopardizes the integrity of the door and the door must be replaced. Another situation in which you need to replace the door is if it is showing signs of delamination, perhaps due to weather damage or harsh environments. Once a door is flimsy and has lost its rigidity, it should be replaced. You can test this by trying to twist the door vertically by setting your foot at the base of the door on the lock-style side and attempt to pull the top of the door towards you. If it moves greater than one quarter to three-eighths of an inch, there's a good chance your core is delaminated. Rust generally starts inside the door. Once you see rust on the exterior of the door, the core has been compromised and the door will need to be replaced. If your door's demise is due to rust, you should consider replacing it with a galvanil coated door. The galvanil coating in today's doors are on the outside and inside of the door, protecting the door from rust. Doors subjected to vandalism or forced entry typically need to be replaced. That kind of force often leads to a compromised core, damaged edges, and more. When repairing due to vandalism or forced entry, be careful to review all areas of the opening, not just the area of compromise. Rather than replacing your doors with the exact same product, consider if another door would be better suited for that opening. In instances of vandalism or abuse, perhaps a heavier gauge steel door should be purchased instead. While the upfront cost may be higher, the ROI of the door may be better because it will last so much longer. You'll want to ask yourself, is this the optimum door assembly for this opening? A major benefit of steel doors is their reworkability. They can be welded, ground, and patched. This means that repairs can often be made relatively inexpensively and usually in the field. Here are a few instances in which you can save money by repairing the door instead of replacing it. If cleaning crews have the bad habit of jamming a mop handle into the bathroom door to prop it open, the result can be a sagging and improperly gapped door. The first thing you should do is let the cleaners know you have a no mop handles as doorstops rule. Then, with the help of some basic welding skills, the door can be repaired in about an hour by doing the following. 1. Remove the door and the hinge attached to the reinforcement. 2. Drill welding holes in the area where the hinge reinforcement sits. 3. Clamp or hold the hinge reinforcement in the original place and plug weld. 4. Grind smooth, prime, paint, and rehang. Be sure to check with local jurisdiction when repairing or reworking fire-labeled openings that the repairs will not jeopardize the underwriting. One of the nicest things about steel, besides its sturdiness and longevity, is that if the door is impacted in a way that causes a hole to develop, because steel is so pliable, you may easily weld a patch over the hole in the door. Be sure to pay attention to any fire-rated concerns and procedures and always defer to your local jurisdiction. When the damage is just a dent, and hasn't penetrated through the outer layer of the door, you can apply Bondo, sand, and paint the door. More often than not, no one will be able to tell that it's been repaired. The repair options we've mentioned are largely unavailable with wood, aluminum, and fiberglass doors. When subject to extreme force, fiberglass will shatter rather than dent. Aluminum has a higher tensile surface strength so that it is very difficult to repair in the workshop, let alone out in the field. On a wood door, if the veneer is damaged down to the substrate, it too cannot be repaired. Fortunately, most steel door repairs can be performed in the field with basic equipment and expertise.